Welcome, my name is Ashley and I live in our tiny house on wheels with my husband, my toddler and our 10 month old baby. We've been living here for over four years now, but when we originally moved in, it was just my husband and I. The sleeping loft started off with our queen bed and then with my son, I had a little bassinet in there but he outgrew it so quick and we ended up just putting a full size crib in. After my daughter was born, we did decide to co-sleep with her until we knew what the next step would be in the tiny house, but I think we finally figured it out. I'm finally gonna give you a little tour of our new bedroom. Chad built it out to fit the four of us in here. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but I really have to clean the bedroom and I just have not found any time to do that. And I don't know if I can even do that right now because I have to go get Floyd from school soon and Franny's here. And we all know it's impossible to clean a space with a child in it. I like to keep things realistic around here. I'm going to clean the bedroom with you guys and show you how it looks now. A new closet here, two new beds, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's like clean, beautiful, and no children. <coughs> are in it with me. But it will never look like that. My room will never be as clean as what you will see later in this video. So before we just had Floyd's bed over here. It was a big crib and then Franny slept in our bed with us. To give you an idea on the size of the beds in here, the space in here, we sleep in a queen bed and then both kids now have their own crib beds, regular sized crib bed. We cut Floyd's old crib down to make, still the kids have their own individual spaces. I wanted the kids to feel like they have personal space. So you might think like, why didn't we just put two mattresses beside our mattress and then have like one really big bed? But it was really important to me that the kids have to ask each other if they can go into each other's bed because we live in a really small house. Obviously you don't get personal space here. So I wanted them to have their own space that is just theirs. You have to ask each other to enter each other's beds if you wanna play in your bed. The most exciting part for me, minus the kids each having their own bed, that's really exciting, but the kids each have their own closet now. So Floyd's closet is still the Star Wars closet. I might take the stickers off now because Floyd is really into Mickey Mouse now and I kinda of wanna turn the bedroom into a Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse theme. We'll see, it's not like high on my priority list. But now Franny also has her own closet space and it makes up this entire wall. So Chad built this like it's completely like indestructible and there's no way that the kids can like fall down or anything unsafe on the other side. And now they each have their own closets with all their stuff and room to grow. Franny and Floyd do sleep in their own beds. Mind you, I wake up with both of them in my bed and Chad sleeps on in the middle and then I sleep usually on this side squished between Franny and Floyd. It's quite tight up here but there is now room for all of us. I absolutely love that Franny has her own bed hey? because I do put her down um, for her like for nap time and her bedtime in her own bed and Floyd easily sleeps in his own bed. He's kind of been going through like a little bit of separation anxiety lately so he's been sleeping getting up in the early morning and crawling in bed next to me. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. It's been pretty intense actually, but I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I love my little boy and all his snuggle wuggles. I haven't done anything and I have to go pick up Floyd. So um, I'm gonna come back to this bedroom situation tomorrow. And I'm back, kid free, so I can get this done. I'm going to clean the bedroom so that it looks beautiful because I wanna know what it looks like if it were to ever look beautiful. Here's a little before. Just a mess. So here's after.
It honestly took me longer to put all of the clean laundry away in the kids' closets than to actually clean the bedroom. It took me maybe like 20 minutes to clean the room. With this new change, I can say that we are in no rush to change our living situation. We all fit very comfortably up here for at least another year or two, I'm presuming. Chad pushed that wall back. It was probably about a foot. It was only like 12 inches, but it makes this space feel huge and so open, mainly because the crib bed that was at that back wall before, it took up so much space. And when it was just Floyd it was perfect but now the kids play up here a lot they're constantly up here digging out toys and throwing them around chasing each other they fly from one bed back and forth it's it's actually adorable and I'm glad that they have this space we did think originally that we were going to turn this room into the kids room and then Chad and I would turn the hammock loft into our own bedroom but I, I admit that I am I'm not emotionally ready to let go of sleeping with the kids. I mean, I would really like to sleep, like have the night to myself without the kids crawling all over me in my sleep. That part I could live without, but it's waking up next to them that I'm not ready to part with. Like they're the first little, I see their little faces first thing in the morning and that's so precious. They will not always be here and time goes by way too fast. So while we're living tiny and while the kids are still down and like sleeping with us anyways, we're all just gonna share a bedroom. And then that gives us the hammock loft as like a whole entire another, like it's a great guest suite. People always sleep there when they come over and the kids can also play up there too. So enjoying it the way that it is. All four of us and our three pets fit marvelously in our tiny house on wheels. Thanks for watching my update video. I can't believe we've lived in the tiny house for this long. It's actually wild. I don't even have any like immediate goals or desire to leave living tiny or to buy something bigger. One day I know it's inevitable. We will outgrow this space. It's not a forever. Well, nothing's forever. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. We'll have a great rest of our day. I guess my day, I'm, I'm alone right now. I gotta go back and pick up the kids. I left them with my girlfriend so that I could just like have a minute to just, I've been really struggling filming with the kids around lately. They are a handful, but subscribe if you're new here because I make videos about our lifestyle living in this tiny house with my little kidlets as much as I can. See you in the next video.